We've had a recent trend in all kinds of mesh-tastic devices coming out that are over $100 for just a Helltech V3 device, which you can buy on Amazon for like 26 bucks. So to me, we're getting into the world of turnkey options for mesh-tastic that are almost pulling money out of consumers purely because they don't really understand any better. I made a video about the MuziWorks R1, and I think that was coming in at around $85, and that's dipping to the point where it's getting a little bit too expensive, but I found that to be one of the easiest turnkey options available. But what if you want a slightly less turnkey, bring your own Helltech V3 to the table, so you buy it off of Amazon, links will be in the video description, and you put it in a case, a 3D printed case, and you supply a battery. Now you're under about $60 total-ish, all in, for this Zero Fox 3D Bender, and this would kind of be a little tabletop unit. There's also the Nibbler, which is something that's portable that you can carry along with you, and it also runs off of the Helltech system. Let's take a look at these. I'm gonna build one up. I can, I'm pretty sure I can get this in about five minutes built, ready to go, and, uh, and yeah, you might find it's very easy. No soldering involved, just a couple of things to plug into the main board here, and then you got a fully functioning little mesh-tastic device. So let's go take a look. So the idea is quite simple here. You got a 30-something dollar kit in the form of 3D printed parts, a wiring harness, your connection for the antenna, a specialty made antenna, and a fun little tool, right? And you combine that with your Helltech V3, which, you know, you pick this up for like 26 bucks, and you put in 18650 with it, and, and this is your, your kit. So I, I've got my timer here. I'm going to build this live. There's no screws or anything like that with this particular model. So let's go ahead and start. Now I'm going to take my RF bits here. Let's put that in first. This is keyed. So you kind of have to work it past that there. Get it up into place. And then try and line it up as best you can and pull it. But once you start tightening down the nut here, that's going to take care of itself pretty quickly. Take our little tool. Seats at home. All right. Now, the way this goes in here is you just line up the USB-C to that. But first, we're going to have to install this battery device, which I think is going to go best if we go this way here. And then we're going to have the switch come out the front. So I'm just going to place this in like that and here like that. I'm going to ins plug in the cable for the power. Yep. And then I'm going to turn this around USB in first to get it past the opening like that. Maybe a little more. Yep, see, so cleared it just fine. Now that's in place. I'm going to, where's my plug? Okay, so for these coax bits, this coax connector is really small. Uh, and I kind of line it up flat. And then push it until it clicks. And sometimes if you can't do it with your fingers, which I, I was able to, so that's going to be fine, uh, you can use a like a stick or something like that to push down on it. Oh, my battery fell out, so I'm going to line up that plug again, like so. I'm going to install the battery, install the back, maybe. caught on something. See right here where it caught? Oh, wait, did it just fall into place? It did. Perfect. Antenna connection goes back on. Maybe. Okay. And then I think this 
lines up in there like that. We're going to take our little plug cover right here. And then this all just kind of pops in, at least it should. Antenna comes on, and boom. All right. This was an older uh, Helltech that I had set up, so let's uh, reflash this guy. But yeah, up and running. Well, I'm not going to lose the ability to just show you how to flash this thing since it's ready to go before we build the nibbler. Anyway, uh, so you got your switch in the front, and you got this upper button. Hold down the button on top, and then switch the unit on. You do this with any Helltech. This is called the boot button. Okay, now with it held down, plug it in. And you should see some activity. My device managers just went crazy. Always have device manager open. And now if I minimize this, the new port that's there is this uh, COM17. That's this guy. So he's waiting for you to do something. And what you do is really simple. You go to flasher.meshtastic.com, click on the little green button on the left, and then find your unit. We want the Helltech V3. It's the one that has that weird little plastic thing on the front of it because a lot of times they're sold with that on Amazon. Anyway, click on that guy. Select anything stable. It doesn't really matter. If you want to play with around with an alpha, you can too. That's fine. Now that we did that hold down boot plug-in thing, we just go to flash, scroll down to the bottom, hit continue, and we're going to, yeah, it's an ESP32 board. We don't need to click that reset button, so don't do it. Take your baud rate, leave it at whatever the default is, is slower, fine, whatever. If you If this is the first time doing it, Hit full erase and install. For me, I've already got it. It's already loaded, so I'm just going to go ahead and reload it for you and then hit start over. So if I hit update, it's going to ask me for my port. I'm going to scroll down and find 17. It should say paired next to it. That's how you know you got the right one and hit connect. And then it should just start doing it, writing right there. And then just go ahead and let it do its thing. And I'm going to go ahead and go build that nibbler while it wraps up. Now the portable Helltech node, the Nibbler, is a little bit more involved, and I gotta admit, uh, pretty ingenious with the way they developed this to work. This is one with a little belt clip and all that. So let me show you how to do this one. This one uh, took me a minute to do this correctly, because there's actually a little bit of doing going on here. So how you do this one, all right? So you, you get your antenna going first, your antenna connection. You're gonna feed the antenna connection through, through the clip, and then you're gonna put the antenna feed into the hole on the plastic bit and then that kind of just stands in a place like that in fact if you want to hold it in place you could throw on your nut and your little washer there and yep we can use that same tool to kind of just tighten things up a little bit and it's tight enough we don't need to go any deeper than that look it's like a little face all right so you feed it through the hole here and i think this is the back yeah okay you feed it through and the way I did this is I kind of folded it under the antenna underneath the back where the battery is going to go. Battery is going to go down here. Then you take your Helltech. Again, line it up with the charge port first. And it just kind of lays in place like that. Kind of clicks in and you're just all set. And then take your antenna connector again. You could actually probably do this. In fact, it's probably easier to do it when it's out of the placement let me show you guys how small this is see this line it up and you hear an audible click if you didn't hear it I promise it, it clicks okay then line it up again USB side first like that and then like that. Now, again, this clip is going to get in the way a little bit, so go ahead and take your battery. And yeah, this is sized for a bit bigger battery, like a 3,000 milliamp hour battery. And they have a jumper that comes with this for using different size batteries if you want to change the connectors, which some of you will have to do if you go with one of those bigger ones. And then plug it in first. So we got the Helltech in place. And 
I'll seat this guy down. Okay. Push the antenna through again like that. And at this point, you can close off the back with this little slide in place 3D printed number. Make sure not to crimp any of your cables while doing this. And now you can actually take the screws that comes with the kit, place them in, and send them home. Oh, you know what? Huh? Wait. <laughs> Don't forget, these also need to be included into the, the threading bit. So go ahead and put your faceplate on for the Helltech. Do a little squeeze. And now send them home. Now, unfortunately, my battery's dead, but um, I'll go ahead and flash this guy up too, and we should be up and running. Make sure to flash it to the latest too, and then you can take your little cap, covers up. Yeah, they went so far as to cover up little threads too. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And the antennas are, are you, you can use the antenna here too if you wanted to. So like that. There you go. That's your portable unit, the little nibbler. Easy. And then you just set it up like you would any other uh, Helltech device or Meshtastic device to get up on the air. Pretty cool. When I started making Meshtastic videos, so many of them required some soldering and some pin headers for the screen, a number of stuff. And that was really off-putting to people who had like no soldering experience. So we've gone from almost uh, an unbreachable thing for, for people who are just kind of normal, I want to buy something, use it, and get on the air with it, to now companies that are kind of kind of taking a tax out of people because they don't really know any better. And so I think this is a really good sweet spot where it's a fun little project you can do. I promise you it won't take you very long to set up and you're not really going to harm anything. Uh, just plug it all together and then insert the battery and turn it on. And that's all there really is to it. I, I, I'm actually a big fan of of these. So the links will be in the video description for you to check out. I think you're really going to enjoy them. I'd love to hear your comments below. Tell me if we're getting better uh, prices with some of this stuff or if you think this is the right direction that we should be going when it comes to Meshtastic devices. I'm Josh, KI6NAZ73.